I'm here with crystal adhesive expert Kelly DeFries. And people always ask us what glue to use with what surface. So right. you have the answers for us. I have a few answers today. Um, today I'm going to show you how to glue on to um, some basic ballet flats. This is a man-made material, so we're going to use the industrial adhesive. Um, a really good way to, to glue it more efficiently and not get it everywhere is to put your glue into a syringe. And gluing crystals on your shoes is so much fun. I think that gets people hooked on the sparkle, don't you? It does. It, it brings happiness to every step that you take. There you go. You can wear them for a day out or an evening out. So I just put a little bit of the glue and then you take your plunger and to fight that air bubble, then you just move up with it and it finally releases the air bubble but you don't get a oh, lot of nice. ooze add on your tip according to the thickness of your glue. You may want a larger tip. Uh, but for this real quick demo, we're going to just show you how to put a few dots of the glue. And a gluing technique with this particular glue, you might get strings. If you just pop your wrist, you don't get those strings as bad. That's a great tip. So pull back on your syringe so that you don't get the constant ooze. And then using your crystal katana, you gently touch the top of a crystal, bring it to your glue, just barely touch the glue. And then when you've placed a few, turn it over and press down to place them securely into your glue. Okay, and so the tool has wax on one end. Correct, the and black end is wax. And that allows you to pick it up. Right. And then the other end, you just use to gently press it. That's right. Now, is there anything you have to do to prep the shoe before you start? Um, you can, if it's a, a man-made material like this, you can just clean with alcohol, or if, um, if it's really shiny, like a patent uh, material, I would sand it with some pretty oh, heavy okay. grit sandpaper. Um, but I still wanted to have the glossy look behind the crystals here, so I chose not to sand it. Um, so that's gluing on shoes with industrial adhesive. So what's next? Well, I'm going to show how to glue onto metal. Um, so we're going to use a, a five-minute two-part epoxy. Just takes equal amounts of each. Doesn't take very much for this particular project. And how do you decide whether you're using the five-minute epoxy or something that has a longer time? Good question. The longer cure time, 30-minute, 15-minute, I've even seen 90-minute cure times, the longer the cure, the stronger the bond and possibly the more flexible bond. Um, this we're going to set into a bezel so we don't need crazy cure times or flexible strengths. Um, just quickly with your paintbrush, you won't only want to mix this for about a minute because it is a five minute cure and it's going to harden pretty quickly. And then take your bezel and it doesn't take very much of the epoxy at all. You want to move pretty quickly with this process. And if you were doing this on a car or something, you might use a longer cure time. Correct. When I do car parts, automobiles, the hoods, or the um, wheels, I definitely find a 90-minute epoxy. That way you have a couple of hours of working time. Would you say most jewelry projects are the five-minute variety? I would say so, yes. Definitely. So we're going to okay. pop this shape into its home. So you have the pre-cut crystal sheets. Correct, yeah. That looks so pretty. And there you have it. Great pendant. Yeah, very So nice. in five minutes, that'll be dry. That will be. You can wear it out till your lunch break. All right. And so next, we're going to use a rhinestone adhesive with the syringe method as well. And the same drill, I like to fill my syringes sideways. Why do you do that? Um, just because the glue will run down to the end. Oh, that makes sense. And then you're fighting having to it coming out right. as you're putting the plunger in. So I keep it sideways to let the air bubble tunnel remain. And then as you press in, I Your always... Your goes right to the end. All to the end. So you have no air bubbles or burps, hopefully. And so then we're going to mess with this um, cute little DIY phone kit and it comes with a template and you can use markers to draw your design and then you can lay in your point back chaton crystals. And it only takes a tiny amount of glue to get in these little dots. So you just use your syringe to drop it in? Correct. You might want to practice on a piece of paper to get a better gluing pattern. Um, this was a bit heavy, but again, you take your crystal katana with the wax in, gently touch the top of your chaton, bring it to your glue dot, and, and place it in. And you can use that rhinestone adhesive for a lot of different surfaces. You sure so can. This is a plastic cell phone case, but you could use it on other things. Right. Um, fabric. 
Correct, it works well on many items. Um, the bracelet was the, the fabric I used it on, the purse as well, it was a, um, a snakeskin material. And then I used the opposite end of my crystal katana to press these stones into place. And Perfect. then you continue until it's filled. Very easy. Now what about leather? Uh, people ask me about leather all the time, and due to the fact that if you're if you have a pair of leather boots or leather shoes, um, you never know where the leather is, leather is coming from. It's already been waxed and sealed and treated to to be worn or used. Therefore, it repels most all glues. So I personally, professionally, don't glue on leather for customers. But a nice solution is a Swarovski rose pen. Is a rose pen, and then with this tool, the crystal applicator tool. You pop one in, and then you grab your leather material, and you squeeze, and it actually bites into that leather, and now you don't have a gluing problem on leathers. Yeah, and let's take a look at the back. You can see it's really nice and smooth. Right, the teeth fold in on themselves. Yeah, and we can explain a little bit about rose pins, too. It's the crystal on the front and it has these prongs on the back. So correct. you're it's getting a, a different kind of setting than with adhesive. This is correct. It's a, a normal 2058 crystal with the teeth on the back made for this machine. So it's gonna really bite into your fabrics. Okay, well let's take a look at your finished pieces here. These are so beautiful and Thank what a great you. way to crystallize all of the, everything you're gonna Every, wear. Just about everything, your whole outfit can be done. Yeah, I love it. Thank <laughs> you so much, Kelly. Thank you. Lots of questions today. That's right.